wife generously Hi. allowed me to come to this wonderful place Thank called the Fish Hawk, that. which is one of the, uh, I guess, the most famous fly fishing shops in Atlanta or in this. What's up guys, super stoked because we had to come to Atlanta today and my wife generously allowed me to come out to the best fishing shop or fly fishing store in Atlanta is what I hear, it's called the Fish Hawk. I've never been here so I'm super stoked so I'm going to take you guys with me. Let's go check it out. Love you. Love you. <laughs> you want to come inside with daddy? Go check out this cool store? So I'm stuck there setting up a new uh, Sage Foundation, uh, new for 2018 rod uh, in a four weight. I'm going to test it out in the parking lot. Hawk store because my whole family's in the van but that store was incredible so if you guys are in the Atlanta area and looking for anything fly fishing wise or want to test out a rod you can come right in the store and they'll put a reel on and let you test them all out so we'll see you guys Are you making a video? Yeah. 
video? <laughs> what do you see? Who's that? Dada. You see yes. Dada? Hey, that's Dada. Hey. What's up guys, we just got back from Trader Joe's. I know this isn't fishing, but uh, we're gonna give you a rundown of what we scored because it's incredible and you should be a part of this life. Okay, I'll taste it. You wanna taste it? It's good, for real. What do you think, Olive? Uh, I haven't tasted it yet. What are you gonna taste? Um, that, that pesto. What is it, tell me. Vegan tell. kale, cashew, and basil pesto. Oh my gosh, it looks, it's, it's good. The ingredients are on point, and it tastes This is our nice. Trader Joe's haul. What is this? Ew. It's pesto. Just dip your finger in there. Vegan kale, cashew, and basil Guys. pesto. Guys. Um, Look here. Sure. You gonna taste it? It was good. I'm serious. It tastes like pesto. I just like it. I mean, you can't really mess with pesto up. Let me try it. It just doesn't have cheese in it, so. You like it? What do you think, Olive? If she... It tastes just like pesto. I mean, it does. It's good. She's dr drama. Oh my gosh, so much drama. So much was, it, was it so bad you had to spit it out? This is how my wife gets down. Let's see. Glute, this is gluten for your life. Right here. Cauliflower pizza crust with stinking vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. This is how daddy gets down. Let me see my pizza. This is how daddy gets it. Boom. Barbecue chicken pizza. I want to eat that one. Yeah, salsa. Here we go. This is my favorite. This is my favorite thing that Trader Joe's sells right here. Mm. Corn and sugar. I will say, this is the first day as a married couple that we've ever bought hot dogs. Oh yeah, I've never bought hot dogs. Before. We found hot dogs at uh, Trader Joe's. Check this out. If you want to eat hot dogs and your wife is a health freak, this is how it happens. The great organic uncured beef hot dog right here. Non-GMO, grass-fed, humanely raised, whatever that means. I'm about that kombucha life right here. Uh, this is our favorite, the Pink Lady Apple Kombucha from Health Aid, but we're gonna try this one today. Organic Cranberry Spiced Apple Kombucha. Anyway, that's how we get down. Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to give you guys a little skiff update because you guys probably haven't seen the skiff up close. Um, if you're just checking out the YouTube channel, you definitely haven't seen it, but if you've been following me for a while on Instagram, uh, you know the boat. You've seen my skiff, uh, my little skinny water boat, but you haven't had an update of the boat since we've uh, gotten back from Texas. We, uh, if you don't know, we went out and did uh, some, well, we tried to help with the rescue efforts um, in Texas. Uh, we were down in the Port Arthur, Houston area, and uh, this guy was taken with us. It was insane. Uh, the boat was awesome. Everything worked out. We got to be a part of some really cool stuff, man. Those people are hurting and struggling in a lot of different places. Boom, I got my sister coming in to the video. But uh, so I wanted to show you guys what happened on the skiff. Uh, so we had lost a, a leaf spring while we were towing it back from Texas. I don't know if you can even tell in that picture, but this thing is dipping hard. Uh, looks like a 64 uh, Impala with switches right now. And then you can see yesterday on the way home from the lake, boom, I don't know if you can tell, but the bearing went out and there's grease everywhere. This thing is in desperate need of some help. So uh, we're going to take it off the trailer and uh, rebuild the boat, repaint it, do some new work, um, uh, work on some of the fiberglass stuff, some things that I enjoyed that worked out, some things that didn't work out in my opinion on this build. So we're going to make it right. It's going to go through a makeover and the trailer is about to get rebuilt. So uh, stay tuned because... Uh, it's going to be awesome. See you guys.